My name is Juliana Lungozi and I'm currently a member of parliament in Malawi parliament and I'm a, I represent the people of Delta East. Delta East is one of the districts in the central region of Malawi and if you ask me where I am from, I'm from both, uh, I'm from Delta because that's the area where my home village, where my parents came from and the area is more in traditional authority Kashinda Moto. And um, I'm 46 years of age. I'm a parliamentarian, and I, in parliament, I chair the parliamentary committee on health. And I also co chair the Population and Development Caucus in parliament. I was seeking change for Malawi, and Malawi comprises of men, women, and young people. So I look at it like that. And to me, it's just you look at Malawi with great potential to be one of the greatest countries in the nation, and we fall short. And at the time that I was making a decision to join politics, everybody blamed everything on politicians. And I was part of it. And when I did a self-reflection, I said, if we are all blaming politicians and here we are on the fence, at what point will Malawi ever change? Because I looked at what we expect the leaders to be or to do. They weren't doing it. So I made a decision that I want to be part of it, to make a difference to be one of the leaders that people will look at and say, we had a politician in Malawi who made a difference, who did things differently, and who had the core of the people of Malawi at heart. So that made, made uh, I made a decision that I want to join politics. And if you ask me what made me uh, make a decision to make a change for women, it wasn't about women, it was about Malawians. Brothers and sisters, they're always there for me. But if you look at internationally, you look at the likes of the Margaret Thatchers, the Maya Angelos, the people, who, the women who have worked hard, and we make a reference to. To me, those are they are inspiring. You look at the work that they have done, and you know that they are tough leaders. You look at uh, uh, the German uh, Chancellor; there she is, the leading the nation, and y y you look at. Uh, the, the Obamas and the work that he has done, the bold decisions people have made in life to make a decision. They, you know, people like Malcolm X, they, they, they changed, they, they made revolution in this country. If you look back home, you had even the people like Kamuzubanda, who was the first leader of this country, who was bold enough to say, we don't want this federation, we want to change Malawi. You look at the poor Kagames of today, the Mugufulis that we read about today, you know the difference that I'm making in this world. They inspire me that we can make a better Africa, and in the same time we can make a better Malawi. So I love leadership, and I love positive leadership. Leadership that makes a difference. Leadership that transcends, leadership that defines change in a society, from not having to having something. People that can point that we had this leader who changed us from not having a classroom to having a classroom, from not being economically empowered to being empowered, from not having education to having an education. That's how I look at leadership. Before I started, I was a leader in the organization where I, I worked for. Uh, my last position, I was working with the United Nations, UNSPA, United Nations Population Fund. I was in Khartoum. I was are responsible for advising the government of Sudan on midwifery, uh, on you know the midwifery. It, it wasn't easy because it was a concept that needed to be understood, but it was exciting because some people saw the difference of what they were doing and what we were advocating to be done. And my work was on sexual reproductive health, and we could see the difference that we we're making to the many communities in the uh, out there for women. And when I made a decision, uh, women and young people, me, or especially, when I made a decision to join politics, it was exciting. It, it's somebody that I thought about, as I said, because I wanted to make a difference in, in the country. For most people, it was, it was difficult for them to come to terms that I was dropping whatever I was doing, to come and uh, be a, a leader in Malawi, especially in the political arena which most people thought it's dirty, which in my opinion is not dirty. It's us who makes it dirty because of the way we think and the way we want to do business. So far it's been an exciting journey because I wanted it. And because I wanted it, whatever comes to me, I kind of expect it because it's never an easy thing to do politics. And I take it in strides. I've had fun in all my three roles as a representative of the people. Every time I go to, the, to my community, 
I always have fun interacting with the community, telling them what needs to be done and how to do things differently and doing community projects together. Right now we have a parliament of 193 people in Malawi, 32 are women. You interact with the men, we meet the same challenges. It's only that biologically they are men and biologically I'm a woman. Or if you look at the Millennium Development Goals, they are, I, I rather the Sustainable Development Goals right now, everybody's talking about the poverty, especially in this continent, which you also have in Malawi. And to me, this is the cycle that we need to break as a country. And I've, I've worked, this is my fourth year as a member of parliament. I, I strongly feel that if we can empower our young people with education, our communities with the right education, we can break this cycle. The unfortunate part is our investment in the education is not as good as it's supposed to be to make a difference because the lower you go in the community, the poorer the education standards are, which is quite a challenge. So to me, if I can go back to my community that I represent and see that we are able to change the, the status uh, they, they, we are able to break cycle of poverty in in households. I'll be happy to do that. At the same time, as a, a legislator, and especially somebody who is passionate about the health sector, because I'm a nurse midwife by profession, I look at the health sector where we have challenges that could be reversed if we do things right. To me, if I see that the reforms that we have been talking about within the health sector. We are able to change it the way we do business with the central hospitals at community level. I'll be a very happy leader in my community. So to me, I'm looking at legislation to be the guiding principle. If you don't have legislation, everybody will do things the way they want to do it, how they want to do it. So you need guidance on how you do business, feeling which will have a society that is in chaos. So being at the center of it, to me, gives me satisfaction that we can put normalcy to the way we do business as a country. You know, when you ask about the uh, leadership and being female, I once took a leadership course and they said the language you use creates the reality. So the, the moment we keep on asking what does it feel to be a female leader, how difficult it is to be a female leader, we create a reality that there's something wrong with female leadership. And there's nothing wrong. It's the same thing as being a male leader. So let's just demystify this issue about female leadership. We're just as good as the men are.